Since I was a child, whether it was a radio, a car, a piece of furniture, a deck, I wanted to improve it. I wanted to make it the best that it could possibly be. And I began to feel that same way about clothing when I visited Italy. After going to Italy, I realized the level of engineering and quality that could go into clothing. I, I never knew it could exist like that. And then I come home and I see what people are putting up with, with the styles that I've always worn. I thought, I've got to fix that. The approach that I took was, how does a shirt function? Well, it goes through the washer. Um, a shirt goes on your body. It comes off of your body. A shirt is stretched. A shirt is folded. A shirt is seen in the light so the color matters. A shirt has certain dimensions which um, are relative to your own body. That's the fit. All of these things are the function of a shirt, and that's the only kind of thing we think about. As I was developing the skipjack polo with my mom, she knew a lot about sewing. I didn't. You know, I would use a stapler and I would use glue and things to mock things up, and she'd actually sew, but it didn't matter. We were trying to figure out how to build this shirt. We got the scissors out and started cutting them up and looking at what was the best, what was the worst, and trying to compose basically what Alan thought would be the best polo that feel good, look good. When I first brought the shirts into the stores, these stores, our first stores we sold to, I know them really well today and we're all really great friends, but originally these guys said to me, we don't need another polo in our store. And kind of look towards the door like, you know, get on out of here. Well, a lot of them were just skeptical, so instead of, you know, taking a dime, Alan said, here, they're yours, here's 20 polos, just take them. Because he was so confident that everyone would love them. We got a phone call from one of our biggest accounts. They said, give us more. And we were like, okay, we did it. We've made it. Suddenly, we started to realize that this wasn't like just driving to a store with a box of shirts to, to resupply them. Other stores started hearing about it. Friends, family, people I didn't know started hearing about it. People wanted the shirts. People might have imagined when they were buying these shirts in every color walking out of the store that Southern Tide had some sort of office, but it was really a pool table, a dining room table, the kitchen table, uh, my bedroom, and the back porch with tarps over boxes. So we put a little message in there. I'd load up the boxes in my car and put the pedal to the metal. It's amazing to me to have been working only some short years ago in uh, my parents' kitchen and now to be here working with some of the best people in the entire industry from all over the world. We're developing a full line here for this lifestyle that we know our customer already leads. And every season, we're bringing more and more innovation. We're bringing more and more of the style that people have been looking for.